And we did have a request for rhyming news of the week. I don't know if you're planning on doing that. No, no. Reverend Dave. Future. Reverend Dave. Please give it up for Mr. Reverend Dave, ladies and gentlemen. Reverend Dave. missionary position <laughs> on gold streets while they play harp music. The only people going to be left down here on this planet, of course, are going to be the atheists and the Jews. And of course there will be no more Fox News. And even a fresh Limbaugh tries to convert to atheism, it won't do him any good because there won't be any ditto heads left. Now, actually, as an atheist, I really don't have a lot of problem with the Jews because they don't push their religious crap on me. I have never seen a couple of young Jewish guys riding their bikes through my neighborhood, you know, getting off and coming up to my door with their propeller beanies on and asking me if I want to read the Talmud. That's a, you know, that belongs to the I don't care how you bring them as long as you bring them young gang, better known as the Mormons. Now there is one good thing that I can think of when just us atheists and Jews are down here, and uh, locally anyway, and that is what are we going to do with that big Mormon Disney castle over there on the five? I personally suggest it would make one hell of a cool retirement home for old stand-up comics. <laughs> So we'll keep that in mind for any of I, I got a feeling that there might be quite a few people that hang out at Winston's that are going to be down here with me. But anyway, one of the good things also will be the fact that we'll finally solve the Middle East problem. The very few atheistic Palestinians that are left what they're going to do is they're going to give them the Vatican. And, uh, you know, chances are there won't be a whole hell of a lot of atheist people left in Italy anyway because that's a predominantly Catholic country. And so there won't be a lot of people around there anyway. So they're, they're going to give it to them. Of course, the Jews are kind of going to be pissed off because they're not going to have anybody to kill, you know, but that's their problem, and they'll have to work that out by themselves. Also, the fact that the atheists and Jews will be down here, there will be hardly any change at all in Hollywood, New York City, or Miami Beach. So we, you know, we if you're going to plan on going there, you, no problem at all. But anyway, I just want to let you know, and of course, uh, Reverend Dave will be keeping everybody in touch as we approach. There's some speculation as to whether or not uh, the date on the rapture, some, some religious nuts say that it could happen in 2011, other religious nuts say it could happen in 2012, but for sure, they claim that it's going to happen one of those two times. And just one last caution. On the day of the rapture, make goddamn sure you're not riding around with a really super devout, born-again Christian driving your car. 
but says if you're going 90 miles an hour down the freeway, you're fucked. <laughs> because you're going to crack right into a goddamn pole. When he, as, as, as he goes up. Okay, that's about it for Reverend Dave, and uh, we'll see you guys in the same time. See you later, Dave. All right, so, uh, Reverend Dave, everybody. That was great. Good job, Dave. We're going to keep it rolling. Next guy coming to the stage. Uh, very hilarious. Mr. Eric Martin. Woo!